Hello dear students in today's class we are going to show that similar matrices have same minimal polynomials now the question is how to show it and that is exactly what we are going to discuss today so let us start so i will start with two matrices of same order a and b and let us assume that they are similar that is nothing but a is similar to b now what is the definition of similar matrices so these two matrices a and b are similar it means that there will exist a non singular matrix p such that a will be equal to p inverse bp or the either way round b is equal to p inverse ap that also you can write now we are going to prove one result and by proving that result one can easily show that the minimal polynomials of a and b will be same and which is that result i will tell you now so uh, we will show that for any polynomial f of lambda which is equal to let me say for any f of lambda which is equal to a n lambda raised to n a n minus 1 lambda raised to n minus 1 a 1 lambda plus a not belonging to r of lambda this is happening that is f of a is equal to p inverse f of b p so take any polynomial from r of lambda uh, then this f of a will be equal to p inverse f of p p once we prove that then we can easily show that the minimal polynomials of a and b are same now let us assume that we have proved this okay so then the question is how we can prove that the minimal polynomials of a and b are same so it's very easy let me show you how it can be done in a similar way by using the idea that we have seen in the last few theorems and the idea over here is what i will do is i will take minimal polynomial of a let me call it as some uh, f notation is already used so yeah i will say let g of lambda be minimal polynomial of a and let us say h of lambda be minimal polynomial of b now we we already know the definition of minimal polynomials thus since g of lambda is a minimal polynomial of a so well, we can say that it is a monic polynomial of least degree that annihilates a so we will have g of a is equal to 0 note that it is a least monic polynomial uh, it is a monic polynomial of least degree which is annihilating a okay but right now simply i am writing g of a is equal to 0 here similarly same thing will happen for h but uh, this is in case of matrix b so over here h is a uh, monic polynomial of least degree which is annihilating b now keep this in your mind monic least degree these two words are important and now our claim is to show that this g of lambda is equal to h of lambda now since these two polynomials g and h both are monic so in order to show both are equal it is sufficient for us to show that g of lambda divides h of lambda and h of lambda divides g of lambda once we show that then we are through do you remember a similar idea in the last theorem where we have shown this yeah just recall it because it will be required now here in order to show g of lambda divides h of lambda we will take the help of division algorithm naturally so according to uh, uh, division algorithm uh, we will have h of lambda uh, will be equal to uh, g of lambda q of lambda plus r of lambda where this r of lambda is equal to 0 or degree of this r of lambda is less than degree of uh, g of lambda right now once we show that r of lambda is equal to 0 we are through so what i will do uh, on contrary i will assume that this uh, r of lambda is non zero now since we are assuming r is non zero so what should happen degree of r should be less than degree of g keep this in mind now what will be my value of r of lambda from this equation 
so uh, this will imply my r of lambda will be equal to h of lambda minus g of lambda multiplied by q of lambda and what will be r of a and r of a will be equal to h of a minus g of a multiplied by q of a now just note one thing since we have already proved that for any polynomial f of lambda this f of a is equal to p inverse f of b p this is already shown thus by using this result one can say two things the first thing is let me make the space here yeah the first thing is one can say that uh, this g of a is equal to p inverse g of b p am i right and the second thing we can say is h of a will be equal to p inverse h of b multiplied by p now why i am writing this see here since g is a minimal polynomial of a we already have g of a is equal to 0 now since this side is 0 uh, it implies that this g of b is equal to 0 am i right and similarly since this h of b is equal to 0 what we can say this h of a is also equal to 0 now try to understand what is happening here we are having g of a as 0 as well as g of b as 0 we also have h of b as 0 and we also have h of a as 0 this will be required now what we got here we got h of a and g of a but note that both h of a that is from here and g of a from here are equal to 0 therefore this will be equal to 0 now since this is equal to 0 what we have shown indirectly we have shown that this polynomial r annihilates a do you see a contradiction here or rather i will say uh, yeah definitely a contradiction do you see a contradiction here because we have assumed that this r of lambda is non-zero initially isn't it but uh, uh, what we got here we got that this polynomial r annihilating a and further degree of r is less than degree of g but that is not possible right because this g is already a minimal polynomial of a so it is a monic polynomial of least degree which annihilates a but we got another polynomial r of lambda which is monic obviously which is having degree smaller than g and which is annihilating a so which is a contradiction thus this r of lambda should be 0 and thus this h of lambda will be equal to g of lambda multiplied by q of lambda and therefore we can say that g of lambda divides h of lambda and one can similarly show that this h of lambda divides g of lambda this is simply the idea how we can proceed once we prove this now the question is how to prove it and that is exactly what we are going to do now so over here uh, as you can see uh, i have started with two similar matrices a and b so there will exist a non-singular matrix p such that this a will be equal to p inverse bp now we are going to show that for any polynomial f of lambda this is happening okay and the notation given to f of lambda is this now obviously we will start with what we will start with lhs and we will try to prove that this is equal to rhs so note that our lhs is this f of a so therefore i will start with uh, the lhs that is nothing but f of a uh, so i have substituted the value of a so from one our value of a is p inverse bp so this is equal to f of uh, p inverse bp now since this is our f of lambda what will be f of p inverse bp wherever there is lambda you will replace it by what p inverse bp so just a minute yeah so that is what we will get here a n uh, p inverse bp raised to n uh, a n minus 1 p inverse bp raised to n minus 1 then a 1 p inverse bp and a naught i remember when we replace a variable by a matrix wherever there is a constant term it is multiplied by i 
now doing certain calculations this will be equal to a n p inverse b raised to n p uh, yeah how we get this from here yeah to here that is p inverse bp raised to n is equal to p inverse b raised to n p this we have already done in one of the examples uh, yeah so i will not go in details there similar thing for this term and as uh, as well as the rest of the terms but that are not shown here now i have made one adjustment here that i is written as p inverse p now what i will do is if you observe properly each term is containing p inverse now and as well as each term is containing p as well so what i will do from the left hand side i will take p inverse common and from the right hand side i will take p common so that is what i will get here p inverse and p has been taken out and we will get this matrix polynomial now now since uh, this p inverse and p are taken out now you can see uh, what is left out simply a and b raised to n that is what we have here a n minus 1 b raised to n minus 1 and that is continued uh, it should be a 1 here right a 1 is missing here take a note so a 1 b plus what a not i and this p is out but remember this is nothing but what exactly this is nothing but f of b right because uh, what will be our f of b if we put lambda is equal to b it will be a n b raised to n a n minus 1 b raised to n minus 1 so on a 1 b plus a naught i that is exactly what we are having here so therefore this is equal to p inverse f of b p and that is nothing but our rhs so what we have shown thus we have shown for any polynomial f of lambda belonging to r of lambda this f of a is equal to p inverse f of b p and thus one can conclude that f of a is equal to 0 if and only if f of b is equal to 0 ok and thus our conclusion is minimal polynomials of a and b are same now how we get this that is also explained to you uh, yeah and the exact proof of showing two minimal polynomials that has also been explained so this is how one can show that similar matrices have same minimal polynomials. So that's all for today's lecture. Thank you.